Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created some materials and adjusted the size and, and texture. In this video, I'm going to create one rug and uh, one painting over there. So if you remember in this file under tags, I had turned off the furniture layer. I'm going to turn it on. So somewhere around here, I want to consider a rug. And this is the rug that I'm going to create. Uh, I want to check the size so i'll go to file information it's 7 in 22 by 1050 so it means that if i want to go with the same ratio for the size it could be like 1.7 meters by one or i could double the size so i could go with 3.4 by 2 how about i go with 1.7 by one uh, I'm going to actually turn the furniture off. Just want to show you that this is the living uh, room area. I'm going to go to tags, furniture off. And uh, you know everything is in groups, floor is in groups, walls are in group. So whatever I create right now is not going to stick to the previous items. I want to create a rectangle, same size. So I'm going to type 1.7 comma 1 1.7 by 1 there we go that's good uh, so this is gonna be my rug uh, and I can select it through a window and I can uh, actually make a group so this is my rug now I want to assign uh, the rug material uh, or that image to this rectangle I'm gonna double click so it's open and I would like to go to materials, create a new material. I'm going to name it as rug. Bring the image, a Persian carpet. That's the one. I'm going to go with the size of one and hit OK. Now, the reason you don't see it is that it's actually just uh, attached to the ground. So I want to click on it and I want to move it up. By how much? By let's only say one or two millimeters. Two millimeters is good. So if it's not overlapping the surface, you can see it, right? Now, let's see how it works. Right now, it's a group. If I right click to go with the texture icon, I don't see it here. I need to open the group and then the texture is here. So I can position it. It seems that it's still small, so I'm going to go with uh, let me just assign the numbers directly. It was 1 for the width and 1.7 for the length. This seems good. Everything is good. You can also double click. The texture shows you can position it, but the position looks all good. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to click here. So uh, this is the rock. And you can turn on the furniture layer. Uh, you can maybe move this to the center. I would say when you are moving that, go in the axis, first in the red axis, then in the green axis, because if you go like this, it's, it might also move it up and down. But I don't want it to go up and down because I don't want it to um, have any overlaps with the floor surface. So that's good over there. Now I want to have a painting on that wall. Uh, the painting that I have in mind is this one. You can make a save as from the image and it's in JPG format and I want to go with 48 by 24. So 48 inches is 1.2 by 24. 1.2 by 0. 0.6. So let's get back to the file. It's going to be maybe on that wall. I'm going to draw a rectangle. It's going to be 1.2 by 0.6. So this is the painting and I can uh, make a group. Uh, let's also we can hide this wall here. We can also remove the hidden objects. This is all I want to I need here. So I uh, first I'm going to move this group to that corner over there. Okay, and then I, then I want to move it first over here. It's good. It's about 1.7 meters uh, inside. And then I want to move it up. 
I'm thinking about like 1.4 so this is now a good location right so then I want to double click and I want to go with F for offset and I want to offset this surface outside by maybe uh, four centimeters which is going to be the thickness of the frame okay now I want to select this part hold shift click once so the inside is not selected and then I want to make a group so the frame has its own group and the painting is inside now I want to double click here push this group and maybe I can go with five centimeters or four centimeters right and I want to move this surface a little bit forward so it's kind of like there is a thickness for the painting and it would not overlap with the surface of the wall so I have a group here if I open it I have one group for the frame one rectangle for the painting for the frame I want to assign a wood material I can go to select my wood menu is here I'll just go with this one uh, by the way the material that you see in the model in model you see all of them have a little bit of a white triangle which means they are being used on the scene right so if you have uh, like on this one it seems that we don't have the white triangle maybe it's not actively being used or when I'm on other tabs you see that these are not actively being used because uh, the a white triangle is not there now I want to make a new material I want to name it as my painting uh, open the texture this is a painting open and OK I want to assign it here let's go to edit I want to right click here texture position see that it's uh, not in correct size so let me change this to one let me actually I want to unlock this it was 1.2 48 inches by 24 which is going to be 0. 0.6 so I want to assign the actual numbers 1.2 by 0. 0.6 this is the actual size of the image that we are going for now if I position it of course the group needs to be open it's exactly the right size just maybe I would make it a little bit larger I don't want to see those white areas around so I'll go with 1.25 or 2.4 with uh, sorry 1.25 by 0.65 now position texture position I want to keep the signature here now it looks good okay if I turn on uh, the hidden objects I can unhide this and if I go to in model you see the painting the carpet are added right here uh, I just noticed that I moved the carpet too much up so I'm gonna select it go with M I wanted to go with two millimeters but I went with two centimeters so I want to put it here move it up it's 0 0.002 which is two millimeters and notice that uh, no matter how much I zoom in this still having a good resolution because the images resolution was good so the higher the resolution of the image the better it's gonna look like in your model uh, I can also add a sofa over there I want to go to the 3d warehouse and it's actually also here if you don't see it so I'll go to 3d warehouse and the first time you come here you have to sign in otherwise you cannot download the object so sign in uh, so I'm gonna type sofa here and you see there are so many sofas uh, one of the things you need to consider is the size of them so when I click here it shows that this file is 43 megabytes it's very nice but maybe I'll go with a lighter file and I want it to be L-shaped uh, this other one is 48 again so if you scroll down you'll find something like this is 7 uh, but I found something which is 
kind of high in quality and at the same time it looked nice I guess it was this one it's only two megabytes and it seems good I'll go with this one download so the sofa is here I wanna click once and I wanna check it here let me double click uh, I don't need to see that image on the background so I want to delete it the rest of it is in a group so that's good and it seems to be in the correct uh, dimension relative to our file so I want to just move it inside and I want to go with Q you know Q is for rotation and I'll go with uh, a 90 degrees rotation and let me move it on this side so let's move around the green axis uh, how about I also rotate it once again so it's actually along this corner so I'll go with Q, Q is for rotation along the Z axis it's gonna be like this M and I wanna move it over there it would have been actually easier on a different view move down and then move here and I can move it a little bit down so let's see let's uh, check something first it's not on the correct level so I want to move it down so let's go with M here blue till it gets to the surface so on, on face in group that's good uh, we can also make this rug like uh, larger I can click on it uh, I want to actually select this I want to go with, with actually uh, a scale here and I'll go with this edge and maybe I'll go with one and a half okay that looks good I can also go to my top view move this a little bit closer to this edge so I'm actually ignoring the furniture which is on the cat plan and I'm uh, redoing the furniture so this is starting to get more like a living room.